So I was going to do this as I was fixing this, but I forgot because I got caught up doing things. But I took my Juki Industrial Sewing Machine. It's an 8700 that has this big crazy stitch line clutch motor in it. That It's a 400 watt motor. It's like 3500 RPMs when it's cranked up. I had to slow it down because of the work I do. I work with a lot of stuff like this. It's a straight stitch machine, but um, I do detail work, like with masks and things like that. Kind of like little details like that and stuff. So what we did, took the pulley off the motor down here, which it had a three and a half inch pulley on it, roughly. And I put a one and a half, one and three quarter inch pulley on it that I got at Tractor Supply. Um, fit pretty good. Just had to find the right bore width. The middle hole, middle hole was uh, three quarter inch, I think. It was still a snug fit because it's got a little pin that goes in here. So the pin in that one was a little tight, but figured drop the pulley down that much and it should cut the speed in half which it worked really good and this thing would take off like a rocket I got to get a different belt uh, this is the belt that was on it I had to drop the motor down in order to get the belt to even take to do a test run I haven't put the covers back on it yet um, don't be stupid like me and do things safer if you're gonna do this <laughs> um, I'm just watching what I'm doing and I'm used to doing this stuff so I haven't put the covers back on yet, but I will because I got a five-year-old that runs around. Um, I went and got a belt to change it out. The belt I got was too small. Um, I guess I eyeballed it wrong. I needed a, a belt that was about two inches shorter. I think this one's two and a half. I'll go back and change it though. The lady said just bring it back. But this thing would take off like a rip before. This is some of the vinyl I work with a lot. But I'm going to try and do this with one hand and film. I have to use the crank wheel right now because the belt's a little loose still. But I can give it a little kick. I'm just going to let it go on its own. Yeah, but for an industrial machine, yeah, it's way slower. A lot more control for the kind of work that I do. And it gives it some more, a little more power to it too. So it slowed it up and gave it some more kick to go through like kick pads and things like that. Because I make stuff uh, with this kind of foam down here, plus the vinyl. Uh, so a lot of times I'm going through things like this and I have to go through both layers of this material in order to get the stitching down so but just thought I'd do an update on that maybe throw this up on the YouTube channel and show how I geared this thing down um, I need to move this too this is the bobbin winder whoever put the bobbin winder on here didn't put it over far enough when I bought the the table and the machine it was all put together um, a guy had it in his garage so never used it I bought it it was already put together it was a little dinged up but it was in brand new condition with the plastic on it I just don't think it was put together in some parts right no big deal this just needs to come over about half inch so that way it lines up with the belt but I got the belt at Amazon I got the pulley at tractor supply I was gonna go back to tractor supply but they were closed there's my cool robot other stuff I'm working on but yeah there's the update on the uh, sewing machine the industrial one more to come thanks and if this is up on youtube like subscribe do all that crazy stuff I'm trying to get this thing up to a thousand followers and really expand this year so thanks for watching bye